Okay, it is time again to see some more open homes with Elaine Burkett from Mike Perro Real Estate. Morning, Elaine. Hi. Nice haircut. Oh, thanks. Well, let's start by saying that. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> women notice these well, sorts no, of no, things. Well, no, no, you've got to sort that out at okay. the start, Mel. You're right. So what's, uh, what's your theme today? Oh, they're all character, a little bit of uniqueness about them, and they range from a 104-year-old villa wow. up to a 33-year-old one. Okay, so, yeah. well, let's start in Sprayton then, Christchurch. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool property. It's gener generously proportioned, and it's a character villa. It's just gorgeous. It was built in 1919. It's been modernised. It's got that lovely designer kitchen um, and beautifully engineered stone finished bench. You know, but on an island bench like that's ideal for entertaining, yep. yeah. Um, lovely little dining area. It's got a separate living area as well. Um, so perfect for dinner parties. That's a pallet fire to keep you warm and cosy in winter. And it's just got this lovely character about it. And mm. Yeah, just Beautiful windows. Mm, love funny them. bedroom. Look at mm. that clawfoot bath. You know, they've kept some of the lovely features about, you know, that speak to its age as well as doing it up. Nice flat lawn. It's on um, 624 square metres. And there's plenty of off-street parking. There's also a garage as well. So this one's going to set sail somewhere in the early 500s. OK. Brilliant. OK, we're going to stay in Christchurch. This time we're heading to Elam. Yeah, and this is a nice property as well. It's in a quiet cul-de-sac, um, and it's right in the heart of Elam. So wonderful family home. And look, it's been built in a unique Tudor style um, with the exposed beams, and it's got expansive windows to overlook the gardens as well. Oh, yeah, nice to have those exposed beams. And just, just, just quietly, Elam or Island? What do you say? Island. Island? Okay, we'll go I'll island. I'll say what you say. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I knew you were following on from my lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got a spacious floor area of 260 square metres, more or less. So big family home, big four-bedroom property. The master's got ensuite, um, so there's a total of two bathrooms there. It's well heated. It's got three heat pumps, so that'll keep you nice and cool in summer as well. Because it's been gorgeous. We, yeah, we know how hot Canterbury gets. So it's an excellent opportunity to establish yourself in a great area. It's close to the university. It's close to good schooling in the airport. Yeah, it looks nice and cosy mm. too, with lots of character mm. on those lovely lawns. Uh, what are we talking? It's going to auction. The GV's 760. There you go. Nice Excellent. guy. Okay, Thank let's you. move up the country a little bit to Fakatane. Yeah, and this is a lovely property. Um, it's quite unique and it's really attractive. The owner's really looked after it and it's been presented beautifully. Um, the ceilings are um, polished timber sarking and um, the walls and the floors are insulated. So good step ahead there. We've got lovely open plaid dining and kitchen area um, next to a large lounge. Modern kitchen with that nice greenhouse window there for lots of light into the property. Um, and it's got, you can see it's got great flow out to the decking area. Yeah, some great entertaining mm. areas. Yeah, so um, it's a three bedroom property, that wonderful outdoor area, a nice flat section that's fenced. Um, the f land area is 809 square metres, so really good opportunity there. It's also got a garage, a garden shed and a small workshop. It's going to set sail and we expect it to be around the mid 400 range. Excellent. Brilliant. Great value. And you'll get great value in Te Araha. You've got one for us you from there. You will. Yeah, this is a neat property. It's a 1950s build um, and it's a character home. It's sitting a short distance from the foot of that majestic Mount Te Araha. Um, you've got a nice skylight in the dining area which is open to the kitchen. Um, you've got beautiful t uh, polished timber floors and those large timber framed windows for the beautiful outlook. Yeah, they are. those windows are huge, aren't they? Mm. Brilliant. It's lovely. Yeah, there's just an abundance of light and space in those homes so it would be a beautiful, relaxed, homely feel right throughout. Um, the master bedroom's got its own private balcony. Mm. There's an ensuite, a walk-in wardrobe as well. Um, there's also an outdoor room, which would be great for a sleep out or a little teen hangout. And then there's this um, self-contained oh. guest quarters. So wow. great. lots on offer there. It's on a total of 1,206 square metre site. Um, all for 579000 That is amazing. That'll get Bargain, snapped up. Bargain, yeah. Bargain. Okay, and finally in Auckland, what have you got in Mount Wellington? Well, this is really special character home. So this one sits at the foot of Mount Wellington, so lots of recreation around there. It's also close to Stonefield, so you're not going to have that Stonefield's price attached with it. Um, so this one's actually been built in 1914. Gorgeous. Yeah, and it's wonderful character right throughout. It's um, a bungalow. You've got exposed rustic timber throughout and skylights. Just been beautifully done with that little loft area in the 
separate bedroom. Yeah, commonly known as the dog box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that was the master suite with its bay window. Yeah, just everything about it is special. Um, and it's a good land area of 737 square metres. That's oh, huge. Yeah, yeah, and you're so central there in Mount Wellington, yet you've got the mountain out the back door mm -hmm, so you yeah. can go for a run and feel yeah. like you're rural. And you're zoned for Selwyn College, which is great, and Stonefield School. Um, so also very handy to um, motorways as well. It's Looks a good. good. Spot. So what are we talking price-wise? Um, it's going to set sail. Um, the GV is 1.24. Right. Okay. <laughs> hey, thank you, Elaine. Always a pleasure. Always. Um, to see more on these properties and others, you can get them right.